Good morning, YouTube. My name is Will. Enzo. Lotus. Hold on. All right, in. Oh, good boys. So as I was saying, this is Enzo, this is Lotus, but today we're actually talking about Rally. Rally's our cat. Yes, you do know her, don't lie. She's being a little jerk. But to do so, we're actually, well, hold on. As many of you know, the wifey's working from home, so Lotus here can be a bit of a camera star hog. Yes, you are. Uh-huh. So, figured it best to do this out of the house. Oh, don't worry, boys. I'm just going to do a little drop box drop. It'll be okay. So, and that's how we do that without touching it. I don't know if you could see it on camera, but try not to touch the handle. Oh, hear the pup pup. Enzo, you being a jerk? Enzo's being a jerk. Watch Enzo. He's gonna play defense because he's a jerk. Throw it this way while that other shepherd is there. Close. And so. We got a little pep, a little pep at the end. All right, so if you watched yesterday's video, you know we're at the park today, talking about cats, talking about rally cat. With the wifey working at home, it just makes it easier to be here. That way, Lotus decides to speak up, it doesn't interrupt anything. It's a little bit colder though than I thought. Mostly we've been playing fetch and I was playing around taking some photos of them. So if you didn't know, we actually had Rally and Evo. Evo was our first cat. Evo. before either Enzo or Lotus. Evo unfortunately passed shortly after we got Enzo. Had she passed before we got him, uh, we probably wouldn't have, to be completely honest. Enzo was introduced to both of them. Lotus just rally. I was just coming to say hi. I'm not gonna do anything. I was just coming to say hi. All right, so first things first. Uh, we monitored them at all times when being introduced. Now, if you're getting a puppy, this should be a given anyways because you should be monitoring your puppy at all times. Get out of the bag. I don't care that it's your bag. There's nothing in there. You already got your ball. So you should definitely be monitoring them at all times, but especially when they interact with the cat. What was super important is to make sure that Evo and Rally did not get hurt. Now, to be completely honest, I wasn't really worried about either of them hurting them intentionally. However, it would be very easy for them to hurt them accidentally. So while we did monitor them, uh, we never discouraged them from interacting. I mean, part of the whole point of getting them as puppies was so that they could interact when the cats had weight advantage over them. You know, within a, a couple weeks, really, they're going to be bigger than the cat. But during those first couple weeks, it was nice that they were they felt like they you know, had a size advantage or at least fairly equivalent. As a side note, Rally still has her claws, Evo did too. So they did have a way to protect themselves. And uh, we strongly suggest you don't declaw your cats, but that's a whole different topic for another day. You know, most of the interactions are just gonna be a lot of them kind of smelling and, and checking what's out. Thanks Enzo for hitting the camera, appreciate it. We were worried that, you know, especially Rally, to be honest. We were worried she wouldn't handle this so well, but we were very, very well surprised with how well she did. And I think 
in retrospect, we probably shouldn't have been because it's very obvious that they recognized that they were puppies and gave them a huge, huge benefit of the doubt. I mean, if we did to them what the puppy, what they did as puppies, they would have swiped us, no problem. So you could definitely tell that they were very open and, and willing to, uh, to put up with that, I guess. Now, I'm not saying all cats are gonna be like that, but I do think that instinctively they just kind of know that. Now, had it been an adult puppy, um, like a larger puppy or an adult, had we adopted, uh, may not have been the same results. But then again, you could always look for pups that are that have been socialized to cats already, obviously. Seriously. Lotus has Enzo's ball, and he just wants him to chase him. Well, that sun feels nice, huh? Now, as I said, they did well, and that's great, uh, but you still, you don't want to let it go too far. Uh, you know, when it gets to the point that the cat starts hissing, especially if they feel cornered. That was the big thing with us. We never wanted them to feel cornered. If they ever somehow kind of cornered them in a corner or, you know, between a piece of furniture or anything like that, that's when we definitely would always intervene because you never wanted them to feel threatened. So he got your ball. That mean brother, that mean little brother, he got your ball, yeah. The other thing we did and would strongly encourage is to make sure your cat has a safe space. So this is a space that they can call their own. So for us, Rally, the way our office door is set up, we actually have double basically child locks on it. Uh, one child lock prevents it from opening too far, more than like a few inches, and the other one prevents it from closing all the way. So what this does is it allows Rally to fit through the door but neither of the pups can fit. Even as pups, they couldn't fit. In addition, this is where we keep her food and her water, so she has a safe space for that. Uh, we also keep her cat condo in there. Uh, we do this for a couple of reasons. One is it just so happens that it lines up perfectly with the high window in that room, so that she just likes that. But then when we are in the office working, she can be in there if she wants, and it's a safe space. Or if we just come in there for some reason, you know, she's always just got that safe space that she can get away from. Otis. You gonna give Enzo his back? Oh, that's nice. You gonna share? Oh, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. Oh, cause you want me to throw it. I'll kick it. How about that? <laughs> yeah, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. Oh man, you all tired? Are oh, you pup pup? Yeah. Man, that Roomba is loud. Here's the camera, and he's gotta come. Uh, Make his presence known. Lotus, that's enough. So really, to summarize, it's not some huge secret as to how we did it. Um, we did it carefully. We did it slowly. We had a lot of patience. We made sure that no matter what, they had a safe space. They always felt safe. And if they ever got into a situation where they didn't feel safe, somehow they got cornered or something, intervene immediately. Because you don't want them, one, to feel unsafe in their own house. That was the most important thing. Two, you don't want them to be in a position where they feel like they have to defend themselves and end up clawing at the pup, which is not gonna do well for, you know, building that bond. I think that's what helped us a lot in being successful. So that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys got some usefulness out of it. I hope it's uh, answered your questions. If you have any further questions, as always, you can answer ask them below. We do answer all the questions and comments. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed yet another quarantine vlog video right now. I know it's hard on everybody, so stay strong, stay patient, entertain yourself by chasing some shadows like Lotus. Yep, hit the bell. Good boy. Yeah. Otherwise, appreciate you guys as always, and we'll see you tomorrow, right? Say bye, say bye, say bye, say bye, say bye. We made sure that no, ma no matter what, Lotus, knock it off. That's enough. Lotus, dude, lay down. What part of that meant come see me? No, you just stepped over Enzo. Poor Enzo. Poor Enzo.